you on the way out, I'll show you where some of the uh, entry points are to a couple of dams that we use quite often. If the tank up here gets a bit low, we suck out of the dams and fill it up. Uh, Jeff Slee, as Mount Reichel CFS Group Officer. Group officers are in charge of the, uh, of the Mount Michael group, which covers the Mount Michael council area, so uh, your, it's your role to ensure that all brigades uh, function correctly and do their training, and so you're in charge of the whole uh, group, which consists of seven brigades. Only about uh, a K down the road, you'll see if we go past it in a minute. It's uh, up on the hill above Gray's Hut. Oh, roger that. No water up there. We have you know, hundreds, hundreds of kilometres of, of track uh, through the hills and that sort of things, which um, we don't know which ones we're going to need which year, of course, depending on where the fire is, but very hard for everyone to become familiar with all those tracks. So by having tours like this, and, and brigades often do their own tours as part of their training, to become familiar with the tracks through, not only through private property, but also through the national parks and the woods and forests and SA waterland, so that if uh, and when there is a fire in those areas, we know uh, what, the, what the tracks are like, we know what the vegetation is like, we know where the dams are, so we know what water supplies are available. So just general familiarisation with, with the tracks, uh, the vegetation back there, uh, so that we have a bit more of an understanding of what we might expect if we are called back into those areas to fight a fire.